let's jump in and do a page in our junk journal with the vintage printed Ukrainian ephemera in it. I've got, I've done a couple of pages, you know, I had to, had to get my feet wet. This one that I think I showed on the last video, which I dearly love, the, the picture, not the video. <laughs> I hate all my videos, just so you know. <laughs> I think they're all horrid. <laughs> okay, that's just me, my own personal issues. Okay, here's the one that I just finished earlier today. And I feel like I'm kind of hitting a groove, you know, getting getting used to the uh, whole vintage theme we got going on. This is some, um, this lovely Ukrainian lady and some printed Ukrainian ephemera in the background. And that's a Ukrainian something something. And so is that. And then... Some tissue paper, some washi tape, a little rubber stamping. Um, that's a rub on, and then some scribbles here and there. So, you know, super simple, not difficult, um, but lovely, I think. You know, lovely. So, let's do another page, maybe up here toward the front. Maybe this one. Let's do this side of the paper. All right, so uh, I usually just start with some something to tear up and put in the background. So I'm gonna go to my ephemera binder thing that I showed last time and see what uh, catches my eye. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Some of these need to be reprinted. When my printer gets tired, <laughs> like the the prints start getting just not very nice looking. You know, they get the lines like you sometimes get. And of course, I guess if I printed them all out on super high quality, they'd all be perfect. But I can print like five or six and they come out just beautifully. And then number seven has got the lines. And I just take that to mean that my printer's tired. It just needs a break. Um, so, yeah, and sometimes I don't notice the lines, you know, till after I've already done it. And that's that. Like this one's got some on it. But they're faint and I'm going to be layering and I don't care. So I'm going to use this. I like the color. I have no idea what it is. It is Ukrainian. And I downloaded this from Victor's YouTube channel, Mr. Victor Crafter. And I think I'm just going to do this. Set that aside. And maybe put it up against the edge there. I, kinda, I, want, I want the I want all the written stuff. Okay. Like so. And I'm going to cut this border off. That was just what my printer did. And I'll glue it like that. Just a little something to start with. Oh, look, it kind of picks up these colors. Maybe I'll let that show through. Ha! I wasn't even paying attention. And I'm going to use... Okay. Here's what I'm using. I'm using that reptile glue. Where is it? This, which I do like, it's just very similar to tacky glue. It's got a thinner body, but it's, um, it holds strong. I mean, it's sticky. It's just a good white glue, which I like just fine. But I put it in one of these little bottles that I got on Amazon because it has the, 
the fine point, you know. So I put my glue in there and I was using the fine point and it was coming out all awesome and I loved it. And then when I got through, I thought, oh gosh, I really don't want that little metal fine tip to get all clogged with glue. So I stuck a needle in it thinking that, you know, <laughs> that would keep it from clogging. <laughs> Completely glued the needle in there. <laughs> Y'all, I took pliers. I could not get that needle out. It's some good glue. <laughs> but yeah, it's just permanently in my little metal nozzle. So now I just pull the whole nozzle out. And I've still got kind of a fine tip, you know, not as much as, as this, but it works. <laughs> so that's what this weirdness is about. Okay, live and learn, right? What not to do. Always a good lesson. I'm gonna just put a piece of wax paper between my pages so that I don't glue them together. That's got, that's got, uh, I think it's got Daddy Man's on it. Like so. Put that there. And then, yeah, see, it works. Who says I needed that little metal thing on there? <laughs> this is probably better. Yeah, it's even better. I bought, it was a whole package of those. They were really cheap. I'll uh, see if I can remember to make sure that it's in my Amazon recommendation thing. In case you want to pick some up and then glue a needle into your nozzle too. Okay. So let's stick this down. Is it right side up? Well, I am not even sure. I don't think it really matters. And these were printed out just on my inkjet printer, so I do have to be careful about, you know, smearing the ink with water. It happens. But I think we're good. Now I'm going to help it dry. And if you remember my pages, I had gone through and, you know, glued two or three together throughout the book. So they're already kind of textured and buckly and wrinkly, and I am cool with that. So I'm not worried about this being super smooth. Um, if it seems particularly bumpy to me, you can go in, smooth it down with like a credit card, you know, do that. Or if you've got a baron on hand, you can kind of kind of squish it just to help get the air bubbles out. And you know, in my case, it doesn't have to be perfect, but get it as smooth as it wants to be, or whatever. Yeah. Okay. So I've got that. I need some more somethings in the background, so I'm going to go back to my binder and I'm wondering if I've got a I put some eco prints in here but I don't know if I've oh, got any I was going to say that might pick up that color but look that's kind of nice that's an envelope that I printed it doesn't have to spend its whole life as an envelope though I can take it apart or I can use it as an envelope what do I want to do I think I want to take it apart, but see there's goodness on the back. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this like this. Because I don't, I'm not feeling like I need the envelope aspect of it. But then I don't want to waste the back side. So I'm going to save that for another day. And I'm going to use this. And how am I going to use this? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. I'm still, that's really not a backgroundy thing. So maybe I still need to put something in the background. 
I don't know what, um, another piece of paper, tissue. I could do tissue. Mm-hmm. All right, let me see what I've got. I didn't really pull a lot of tissue to put in my binder. So let me see what is easiest to get to. Okay, here is what I came up with. I've got these keys, which are nice. I think they might work. I've got this damask, damask, I never know how you say that, so I just avoid it. I'm not liking the light on that, really. I mean, I could wax it and the white would go away. Okay, now that's an option. And then I've got this. I think I've got some Happy Mail. Oh, I really like it. I'm not exactly even sure what it is. I mean, obviously it's text. It is, it looks French. And it's kind of, you know, distress printed on purpose. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this. I've been hoarding this for years because it's just, I've never seen anything quite like it. So it's special. Okay, so I don't want any hard edges. I know that for sure. Includes you. Oh, I kind of like that. Let, uh, wait. <laughs> okay, that'll work too. <laughs> Alright, so this is what the um, tissue looks like. And I think I'm going to give it some Daddy Vans and see if it'll get a little more transparent. I don't know. You just never know. Some of them just completely get transparent and they're awesome and then some not so much. Let's let's try this one with a little bit of our Daddy Vans all natural beeswax furniture polish. Yeah I know that's not the right ding sound. I could not find the um, sound file that I used to use for that. <laughs> so I had to improvise y'all. It was the best I could do. Okay. So, light brushing of Daddy Vans. This looks to me like, I don't know, for some reason it's like heavier than regular tissue. I don't know what that's about. So I'm not sure that it's going to do much for us. Okay, I'll just make sure it's all covered. And then I like to heat it because it just melts the wax and helps it to spread and kind of soak into the paper better. So I'm going to do that. melty. I'll brush it again. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be getting really transparent. A little bit, definitely, but not, not like some of the others I've used. Okay. Now, we're going to glue it down, so I need to wipe off some of this wax. So I'm just going to take a paper towel Just wipe this excess wax. Both sides. Okay. Now I don't know if you can tell, but see, we've got a little see-through going on. 
You can kind of see my, my fingers back there, but not a whole lot. I don't know, still, yeah, it actually came out better than I was thinking that it would, but we're going to use it either way. Let's put it down. Oh yeah, so you can kind of see the the edges of the other papers through it. I just love that. It's just It just makes the layering of stuff just I like it when you can see through some of your layers that's just fun for me okay put on a goodly amount of glue you can use I often use um, like a mixture of any kind of PVA white glue such as Elmer's and mix it with some Mod Podge about half and half, 50-50. And then you can just add a splash of water if it's thicker than you want, you know, kind of thin it out a little bit. And that makes a good decoupage glue. You get the, the strength of the PVA and then you get the varnish aspect of the Mod Podge you know, the sealer kind of thing. Okay, yeah. Now, give it a little dry. You can certainly just use a glue stick if that's your adhesive of choice, or you can use mediums, matte mediums, gel mediums, you know, whatever sticky thing works for you. All right, um, I think at this point I should probably pick a focal image after I switch that down a little bit. And it's stuck good. Usually, you know, when you wipe down the wax, then that doesn't... Um, it doesn't resist the glue. You know, wax is just a natural resist, but you know, wiping it down like that helps a lot. And I've not had any trouble with things peeling up. Sometimes I'll find like a little edge that I miss. I'll have to redo it, but all in all, works just fine. So let's get some kind of focal image. And I'm having fun with my people. There are these that would make good focal pieces too. I don't I don't know what they are, but they're lovely. That's really pretty. Look at that. Huh. Huh. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, and I don't know. I wonder if I have a little picture or something that would fit right there. Oh, I just put this away too quickly. Let's look and see. This is just all about the right size. I don't really care what I put there. If it fits, it sits, right? I wonder if that one looks maybe a little too big. Could be cut down. This one could definitely... He easily cut down and he's got kind of a pinkish cast that picks up the back there hmm. <laughs> All right. these two just for giggles I don't want that one well, she might work oh but I don't really like the table thing Okay, those are my smallest people pictures. I think this one's going to be the winner. And we'll put them on there and kind of see see how we feel about it. I might change my mind. Okay, I'm going to cut around the frame. This looks like a, it was a cabinet card. You know, it's got the thing at the bottom. So, how much of that bottom do I need to cut off? Not much, really. It's 
got a little paper clip right there, and I'm not sure if I need to cut that all off. Well, he needs to be a little bit more narrow. I'll take it off this side and see. Oh, there we go. And then maybe just a smidge off the bottom. Yep. I need to take a little bit off of this side. Just a tiny bit. Like that. Oh yes, there it is. I do like that. Now, let's see if I like it for the whole thing. I don't even know what this is. This, is that maybe a church? And then there's people um, walking away from it. Like maybe it's an after church. Thing. I don't know. I don't know. It's lovely though. And I love the way that it printed out on this tea stain paper. like I knew what I was doing y'all <laughs> I like that <laughs> okay that's definitely going to be our um, focal here's here's what I'm struggling with do I want to cut around that I'm kind of feeling like I do but then this part right here I don't know I'm going to cut around it and then figure out what to do about that bottom half. Because it's like, this has a definite border. You know, it's got the round shape, but then things just kind of bleed out down there. Maybe I could just tear it. It's not too awfully bad. Just doing it like that. I think that'll work. Okay, yeah, let's do that. All right, uh, let's see. So we've got the, we need a little bit of this green in the background. I'm willing to bet I don't have a green that color. That's too blue. That's too blue. That's too blue. Let me find a, a green that's actually green. Maybe some yellow. Okay, here's what I found. I've got... Pretty much Christmas green. I've got celery and light avocado, and none of them are exactly what I was kind of feeling. But um, let's just put a little on there and see what happens. Start with light avocado. I was feeling good about that one. And a brush that's been sitting in water over there for several days so <laughs> I'll just use it and I'm put it here in the middle where my paper is going to be glued down so that I'm not committed to anything that's not bad it kind of picks up this lighter area okay so now we'll just kind of do this There. Now, yeah, it's got a little green going on. Um, that's more than I needed, really. What am I gonna do with it? I need a piece of something to put it on. No, I need a. Uh, yeah, I need some scrap paper. I have books specifically designed for. Wiping off paintbrushes. So 
somewhere. Found one. <laughs> its sole purpose is just to wipe off paintbrushes. So, random page. There we go. Now, uh, oh, yeah, that's what I forgot about. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Do we still want that here? We could put it down here. Ooh. It's kind of fighting for attention, isn't it? Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, plan B for that. Let's see, I've still got my little scrap thing here. Maybe it's this one. It's the paper that's bothering me. I don't want that white paper. This was left over from another one. Kind of, kind of the right color for down there. And I don't want it. Don't want it there. Oh, I might. Yep, I might. Okay, it's got those white edges that I don't love. I'm not cover them up with the chalk pencil. I could go with kind of the color of the paper or a contrasting color. I think I'll go with the color of the paper. Kind of, sort of. Oh, that's a little too pink. Okay, so let's try another one. Where's that one that's like a, this one's like a terracotta or something. They don't have color names on them. I really like when my pencils have color names. <laughs> I need that. I need those color names. There, we'll do that. And then let's put just a few more little things so that it it makes sense then we can stick that on there like that not up against the edge because we don't want it to look too contrived even though it is extremely contrived we don't want it to look that way so And yes, looking good. Um, what next? I think I definitely need something down here. I've got, check my bucket, I've got some rub-ons, that's the wrong shape, back to the binder, I just need a little something or a little piece of something, it needs to be horizontal, here's my thinking process, it's not really I don't think that's what I want. I'm wanting something a little lighter, maybe. Not, not lighter like really white paper, but um, not a lot of dark printing on it. Dictionary. Who's the dictionary? Is that what I want? Let's find out. Oh, music sheets. Where are those? Yeah, I've got one of these. Oh, 
and they're old and kind of crumbly. Fabulous. Okay. Let's see. Oh, and this says, I'll meet my loving Savior. Loving Savior. Okay, I like that. It kind of goes with, you know, I've already got in my mind that that's a church, even though, you know, it may not be. That may be like a Walmart <laughs> back then. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it's really pretty. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I need this. I'm on a journey. I'm going to save that. Maybe that needs to go up there. Okay. They look like they're on a journey. It might just be a journey home from church, but I mean, they're definitely, looks almost like a little pilgrimage or something. Look how that's just coming together. And yes, this wants to go there. It does! You know, if I had tried to put together a page with a theme like this, it would have never happened. <laughs> but when it comes together like this, completely by accident, like, like pretty much no effort on my part, yeah, I love that. I do. All right, I've got a little... Um, I like the green in there. I may go back in with another one of these. Not that one, and not that other one. Where is the one that actually works on this color? Is it this one? Yeah, I think it's that one. Okay, I may do that. I've got a, um, you know, I could outline that. I've got a memories pad here, Hunter Green, and that's got brown on it. These are my makeup makeup powder that I buy it comes with these but I don't use them so I, I save them for art I just re-inked this oh no this is the one that um, yeah the pad came off and I glued it down oh, it looks like it stayed they're vintage so let's see yeah it's not too inky is it the right color though yep close enough I'm just going to give it a little bit of a dark edge so that it looks more defined. Just like that. Yes, I like it. And, uh, where's my dude? My dude, yeah, he needs an edge too because he's, he doesn't have much color. So I'll use this uh, walnut stain, maybe. I did re-ink this, so. Yep. Side. We'll use it on something else. So I think I'm ready to stick that down. And that looks good.
make sure this other side of my wax paper is kind of clean because sometimes it does sort of stick. That is good. And now just because I don't want to put this, I don't want to smear anything because I'm not, um, I don't trust my printing. So I'm going to put glue stick on the back of this guy. think is it good let's give it a little a little heat to help it dry now I'm going to go in just kind of scribble with this pencil that really needs to be sharpened I don't have a sharpener that fits this size pencil so yeah I'm just making do I like it. There we go. Super simple. And we have a little Ukraine and a little France and a little America all together. So that's what I got y'all. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back again uh, soon I hope. The end.